The surfing competition will be held at Shidashida Beach, located some 64 kilometers from Tokyo. American athletes are ready, says the head of USA Surfing. And the waves are breaking over sand and, and they're generally not super powerful um, like you would find in Hawaii. But um, they're, you know, Caroline Marks grew up in Florida, so she's really used to those types of waves. Um, as did Chloe and Dino growing up in San Clemente. So I think our chances for meddling are really good. Four-time world champion Carissa Moore is 28, the youngest team member. She is expected to have a good chance of winning a medal. I've just kind of been surfing and training like I would for a normal event. And I think the more time I've had has actually let me kind of go back to a basic level and really like look at my surfing and see where I could make improvements. All in all, 40 athletes will compete for medals in surfing, 20 men and 20 women. They will be competing on shortboards that are known for their maneuverability. Skateboarding will include two disciplines. The first one is street skateboarding, which focuses on flat ground tricks, grinds, slides and aerials within urban environments and public spaces. The second one is park skateboarding, that takes place on special ramps. Among 80 sportsmen competing for medals, 16 are Americans. 16-year-old Bryce Wettstein won the 2019 National Championship for Women's Park and is widely seen as Team USA's top medal contender. I want everybody this year to see that skateboarding can be everything because a lot of times the things that emerge out of skateboarding are that you never really see, you never really see the full picture of skateboarding when you have just one person, because so many people do it in a different way. Competition is expected to be heated in sports climbing. With only you know, two men uh, and two women representing USA, that's a, that's a really high performance uh, that's going to be required to make it I know, not only uh, obviously to the games but to make it to the qualification out of the qualification round in Tokyo and then also into the finals uh, uh, we just hope they have their best performance uh, on both of those days sports climbing features three main disciplines speed bouldering and lead Speed climbing pits two climbers against each other, both climbing a 15-meter wall. In bouldering, athletes scale a number of fixed routes on a 4.5-meter wall in a specified time. In lead, they attempt to climb as high as possible on a wall measuring over 15 meters in height within a specified time. In Tokyo, the three will be combined. I feel like proud for the sport of climbing and for the community behind it. Um, because I think that it has a lot to offer the world and being on the Olympic stage will help it spread what it has to offer. Aside from any uh, result, I just want to compete my best. Team USA Karate is still working on its lineup. So far only Sakura Kokumai has secured her spot on the team to compete in the women's individual kata event. I can't tell you how much I've given up in my pursuit of just chasing the highest level of sport. It's an awesome feeling to know that we reached the pinnacle of sport. You know, there's nothing bigger or greater than the Olympics. Athletes will also compete for medals in baseball and softball, relatively new sports that are coming back after the pandemic break. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Washington. Ja, 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 ja.